Okay, welcome back, stalkers. Lone Wolf here again. Uh, ready for part three? All right, here we go. So we've got enhanced shaders installed. We've got the screen space shaders installed. Game's looking all right, but not perfect. Uh, so today we're going to install reshade and the mod configuration menu or manager, should I say? <clears throat> and we'll get that up and running. Um, if we get a bit more time, maybe we can do bass and uh, global textures, but I don't think I think we'll run out of time on this one. Um, and also, we're going to adjust the sun gloss and tone map settings in the game console, so we can get all that set up and ready uh, for when we load my custom reshade in. Uh, let's get to it. So the first thing you want to do is uh, go to Google and type in reshade.me. That will bring up the reshade page. Scroll down to the bottom. And download reshade 5.92. That's the latest. So click download. Now I've already got this uh, downloaded and ready to go. So what we're going to do with this, um, we're going to install it on the exec file, the DirectX 11 AVX exec file in your bin folder. So there's your game folder. Click on the bin folder and that will list all your execs for launching the game. Now we're using DirectX 11 AVX, so we want to install the reshade on that one. Okay. So click on reshade. It'll say select the game or application. Click on browse. And navigate to your game folder. There it is. Click on your bin folder, find DirectX 11 AVX, click on that, and press open, and go next. We're using DirectX, so next, and it'll ask you to select a preset to install. Now if you've got a, a custom reshade that you really love, that you've downloaded from somewhere else, um, you can put that into there and it'll install only the uh, all the different reshade mods that you need for that particular one. But we're going to install everything. So we're going to click on everyone because, I mean, you never know. Further down the line, maybe you're going to want to tweak it. Maybe you don't like my reshade or someone else's and you just want to tweak different settings and play around with it, make up some fun videos. So we just go down, scroll all the way down, click on everyone. Okay, all done. And next. And then basically that'll install all of those different settings into your game folder. Takes a little while depending on how fast your internet is. Okay, all done. Hit finish. That's reshade installed. So we'll go back to the game launcher. Let's open up the game and um, see if it's all installed properly. Okay. So as you can see at the top, Reshade is installing all the uh, different programs. Let it finish. Don't do anything yet. All right, that's done. So what you want to do is click Home. Press Home on your keyboard. And that will bring up the main Reshade page. 
skip tutorial, and there you go. There's all your different reshade settings that you can apply to your in-game. Now it comes with a standard reshade preset up there. Uh, so if you want, right now you can play around with it. Play with different effects, bloom effects, sharpening effects, whatever you want to do. Um, or download your custom reshape, whatever you want to do. Or you can wait for mine. Okay, so that's pretty much done for that. So next up, we're going to install the mod configuration menu. <clears throat> so back to mod DB. And do a search for mod configuration manager. And hit search. And it's the second one there. So you want to download that one. Put it somewhere safe. And again, I've already got that downloaded at the top there, MCM. Now we only want the game data folder for this. So copy that to your main game file. And that's done. Let's launch the game again. Okay, now you see you got, you got an extra uh, thing in the menu there, which says more configuration menu. You can go to that. And that will list all of your mods, which enable different settings that you can tweak in game. <clears throat> so at the moment we've only got screen space shaders up there. So we we'll just click on that and you can just get an idea of what you can change in the game. So you've got floor fixes, interactive grass, <clears throat> most important one, the wetness where we can change the gloss and the specular highlights for the grass and the trees. Okay. So let's load up the game. So you can bring up F7, the debug menu. <clears throat> If you're changing settings, lighting settings in the game, I always use clear one and change it to about midday because that way you get a good overall idea of the, the lighting and the colouring. Right. So now what we want to do, we want to bring up the console, get out of the way. There's always one. <clears throat> All right, let's try again. So you bring up your console, which is below the, uh, hit the key below the escape. <clears throat> and we're going to type in sun. And we're going to go to sun lum scale. The default is two. So we're going to increase that a bit, make it a bit brighter and put it at 2.5. Next up, we're going to type in sun again, scroll down. Now we want AMB, which is ambient light. Now that will affect the, uh, the light indoors, inside, buildings and stuff, tunnels, whatever. Uh, we're going to drop that to 0 0.7. And lastly, for the sun, we want lump scale hemisphere. Now that will slightly brighten the shadows. So we'll increase that to 
Now it still looks a bit dark, you're not going to see a lot of difference, but the reshade will make everything magically appear fantastic, hopefully. Uh, right, let's do the gloss settings. So the gloss factor, uh, enhanced shaders, you should set the gloss factor as a default of 0 0.001. Reason being, we're going to use the gloss min or minimum to adjust how glossy you want uh, the different textures. So we'll put that at 0 0.7. And lastly, we're going to do the tone map settings. So type in tone map. The top one turns the tone map on and off. Adaption, that's set as default of 10. How fast it goes, uh, the light adjusts going in and out of buildings and stuff. But we're going to change the tone map amount. We're going to change that from 1, drop that down to 0 0.4. Again, it's made it a little bit darker, but don't worry. It's going to look better when we've applied the reshade. Okay, now we want a tone map low lum. We're going to change that from 0 0.5, drop that down to 0 0.02. And lastly, we want tone map middle gray. And we're going to drop that from 1.5 down to 1. Okay, and that's it for the uh, the lighting console settings. Um, next up, part four. See you then. In the meantime, play around with your reshade.